Hey, language lovers. I'll have um, something about whelmed for you in a second, but I wanted to check in. I still can't be in my office, so it's a lot harder to do video. I wanted to get you something. And um, if you want the full Grammar Girl experience, the podcast always goes out on time. So last week I talked to Cecilia Watson about the semicolon and Mrs. Dalloway, and um, we had a great time. That was on the podcast feed. So there's a lot of stuff there you're not getting here. So check it out. Um, subscribe wherever you subscribe to podcasts. Thanks for joining me. Bye. First, I have a quick answer to a question I got last week from Jessica in East Harlem. She wrote, My mother texted me asking if I was overwhelmed and pondered in the same text, Why can you be overwhelmed but not whelmed? So I looked it up and found that whelmed actually is a word. I had no idea. I've never heard it used. Any idea why people use over and under but not just whelmed? Well, Jessica, I was surprised to find that whelmed is a word, too. It was originally a nautical term. Back in the 1300s, it meant to capsize or to turn any kind of hollow vessel upside down. And it was sometimes used with the word over. For example, one sentence in the Oxford English Dictionary reads, Their ovens are large pots, which they whelm over things to be baked upon heated iron plates. Later, it described other kinds of turning over, like turning over dirt to expose the part below, burying something under dirt or snow, or describing something that had been ruined by being flooded over with water. Obviously, whelmed isn't used much anymore. The word we know is overwhelmed, which is nearly as old and had a slightly more limited meaning, but still related to things being overturned, upside down, rotated, and so on. Generally, just kind of topsy-turvy. I can't tell you why overwhelmed beat whelmed in the word popularity contest, but it does give it more meaning for me to know that being overwhelmed is related to all those ideas of being buried or flooded or just out of place in the world. And your question reminded me of an episode we did a few years ago about similar words, such as disheveled and disgruntled. You can't be shoveled, but it turns out that gruntled actually was a word and we just don't use it anymore, much like whelmed. So if you're interested in that, it was podcast episode number 370, or you can find it at quickanddirtytips.com by searching for the word gruntled. Thanks for the question, Jessica.